welcome to the channel viewers bike day look at all the bikes there's my bike <laughs> I don't speed believe it bike day we'll go for a walk well thanks for coming in people sit and watch them look they all sit and watch them go past uh, there's been two accidents this morning. There's an old car there. Look at this old car. Wow. You get all the cars and things going on. Wow. Quite a rare car, this one. Yeah, what is it? It's an Elvis. Wow, I've never heard of it. Yeah. An Elvis. Yeah, Elvis. I think, I think they, they stopped. Oh, early 40s. I think early 40s. 40s. Where are they made? England. England, England not England. Germany or something. No, I don't believe so. I think they're English. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's English. And Elvis. Yeah, Thanks. Elvis. Yeah. Wow. And um, here's a Chevrolet. An old Chevrolet. Yeah, you get them all up here, These you get all sorts of things up here, you get Ferraris, Lamborghinis, but it's, um, it's just a hobby, isn't it? And it doesn't hurt to have hobbies. Well, thank you for coming in and um, there's been two accidents today, one down the road here and another one a little bit further on four people being killed here in the last month. Couple of good looking cyclists. The cyclists, they ride incredible amounts of miles. Here come some bikes. Bikes coming in now. Yeah, bike day here at um, Mount Cola. Mount Cola, just between Gosford and Sydney. Some of you may be going through a breakup at the moment. Life's just not working out for you the way that it should. Um, you could have just been ripped off. You could have been. You could have been triangulated. You could have been uh, betrayed. You could have been let down. Any number of things could have happened to you. Um, could have just wore out. Could be a marriage that went on for 5, 10, 15 years and it just wore out. Somebody got tired of it. Somebody got sick of it. There wasn't transparency. There wasn't any communication. The intimacy stopped. There was no resolve. Alcohol had become involved. The sex got too deviant, disrespectful. The issues were building up and nothing was being spoken about. Selfishness had set in. Rebellion had set in. There were complaints that weren't right. Things started to escalate. The place started to deteriorate. There was no value for anything. You were lumbered with all the work. The other person wasn't contributing the way that they should. Here comes some bikes. There's bikes 
bikes everywhere. <laughs> it's bike bill. Look at this. And it's all a hobby, isn't it? There's been two accidents down there today. They, they just don't learn. And and a lot of us don't learn in our relationships either. Wow, man, this is bike. This is bike bill here. Here comes more bikes. Gosh. Yeah, so we don't learn, we let things deteriorate around us, we become arrogant, ignorant, we share and voice our opinions and nobody listens, we become distant, unintimate, and as I said before, if the sex does go on, there's all sorts of deviancy that's not going to build anything or hold anything, it becomes unenjoyable, doesn't last. Other people get involved. Well, they don't learn. They just don't learn. I can't see the point of it. I've been, ride, I've been riding up here since I was 16. Yeah. And you watch them and you just go, guys, no wonder the speed limit is 60. Yeah. <laughs> you know? There was one in the wall. Yeah, I saw him. Over the bridge. There's somebody here. Young bloke hit the fence. Oh, no. Hey, he's good. He's, he's all right. Yeah, but still, it just... Wow, look at him. He looked like Satan himself. He looked like Satan himself, that bloke. So, <laughs> there's people falling off left, right and centre, getting killed. Four people killed here in the last four weeks. It's one person a week. And you can see why. And it's the same with relationships. If you know drugs and alcohol ain't going to work for your relationship and you want to have a relationship, you've got to make a choice. It's the drugs or the alcohol, or the drugs and the alcohol and medications, or the relationship. Or you find somebody... that's into the drugs and the alcohol. Right? You find somebody that's into the drugs and the alcohol. Otherwise... Um, you have to tolerate. You have to tolerate the absence of mind, the time they spend feeding into their addictions, um, the time you lose while they're not present physically and then mentally. Um, a lot of these people think they can hold people by sex so they find someone that likes sex and then they hold that person in the relationship via that. Um, it's very mixed up. It's very constant. They end up being abused. They end up being neglected. They end up just being an instrument for sexual pleasure. Um, and if this works for them, they'll do it because they've got their drug. The drug's the most important thing, not the relationship. The relationship's secondary. If they can have their drugs in somebody as well, they'll have it. If they have to have the choice between somebody and the drugs or the alcohol, they'll take the drugs and the alcohol. I've had plenty of mates that have been in terrific marriages and had wonderful partners, only to end up living back with their mother or sister or brother because they ruin the relationship through their selfishnesses. And this happens all the time, all the time. They lose their relationships through their selfishnesses, their ignorances, add arrogance to that, you've got no resolve. 
you've got no unity, you've got no intimacy. And these people, nine times out of ten, they'll try and blame somebody else. We'll go down and walk past the bikes, if I can get across here without getting killed. They've got no intimacy, they've got no unity, they lack substance, they don't want to learn, they don't want to... Look at this emblem on the front of this car. An Elvis. They've got no oneness, it's gone. The intimacy is gone. They get cranky at one another, they argue, they fight, they stay together just for the sake of it. They've got no hobbies. No interest, they've got no education towards wisdom, there's a big beamer. Um, they don't learn about life, they take chances, they push people to the limit. Sorry about the background, boys. Noise, but this is how you live. You've got to get out and live. Get off the drugs and shit. Get out and live. The girls that get on the back of my bike, they know they're safe. They know that they're with someone with their wits about them. They know that they're going to have a safe ride. And it's the same in the relationship. And that has to work two ways. That has to work two ways. I expect the same. If I got a girl in my life, I expect her to be on a game. Um, there's a Royal Enfield. A Royal Enfield. Field. Yeah, I expect my girl to be on her game and um, I'll reciprocate that for her. But today we disintegrate, we fall away from where we should be. We think that we are because we are and that's just going to do. How are you, mate? Um, but you have to do the work. Look at that new caddy. And an Aprilla. Shit. Wow. There's a lot of money here. Um, you have to do the work. Those two bikes there, between them would be $70,000, maybe $80,000 worth. Those two bikes there. There's my bike. They don't make mine anymore. They stopped it. But yeah, you have to do the work. You have to put the effort in. And there's some graves of some of the bike riders that have lost their lives up here. This is called Remembrance Garden for family and friends of motorbike riders who have lost their lives on this road. And believe me, that there's a lot that's been poor in the last four weeks. Two accidents today. Both people apparently are all right. You don't want to have an accident in your relationship. You've got to avoid all the things that cause bad things to happen. And you can do this. You can do this. I honestly believe you can do it. Be mindful, be unselfish, be transparent, tell the truth, hide nothing, and everything's gonna be all right. If you're not telling people where you're up to, if you're not telling people where you're at, if you're not telling the partner that you're with how you feel, 
and what's going on, you miss out. If you're losing your life with drug use and alcohol, you're not alpha. You're something else. You're a monster. You're not alpha. And um, you need to come back to yourself. A lot of people are relying on substances now for peace and happiness, and it's not working. Um, how are you, buddy? Little young bloke up here watching the bikes. There's been two accidents down there, you know. Yeah. Idiot. I think, I think it's the guys that are going really fast and oh, going like it too is. far knee down. Yeah. Yeah. Even the young bloke knows. He can tell. That he's got a bit of sense. This kid. Um. So. Don't worry about the people having accidents on their motorbikes. You worry about the accidents that you're having in your relationship. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist. Thank you for coming in. Do everything you can to prevent your relationship from falling to the ground. Bye for now.